Uh, so how's the swim? Uh, it's alright. Um, uh, hoping to be a little bit faster, of course, but, um, uh, you know, I'll take it for a mat in training right now. Uh, I did like 3,000 red on Thursday, or on Tuesday, so, uh, definitely has been a really hard couple weeks of training and no taper coming into the game, no shave, so, uh, I'll take the swim and, you know, I'll take the win, but, uh, always would like to be under one of those things. Yeah. What's next? Uh, nothing much. <laughs> I mean, I'm going home. Uh, not swim in Santa Clara, just going to kind of swim one of our meets at home uh, before nationals and then uh, you know, get geared up for that and then, and then off the world after that. So. You, you get to do the prelim semifinals, finals meet? No, they're doing it next week. I don't have to go. I'm so excited. It's probably the most horrible meet of the first way of my life. It's so draining. <laughs> uh, what, what, what goals do you have this summer? This summer, uh, world record, both 50 and 100 rest. Um, that's kind of really where I'm at in those events. Uh, 200 is starting to get a little bit, hopefully a little bit closer to my 100. That's kind of where my main focus has been, um, just being able to like bring it back and not drown the last 100. Um, kind of like I did, I guess, every year up until now. Um, so yeah, hope, hopefully making the final of that in, at Worlds and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. When did world records start becoming like a thing that you realistically were chasing? Yeah. Uh, I think probably after NCAA's last year, after I was setting all those American records, I was like, okay, well, what's next? <laughs> the, you know, the logical next step. So yeah. I guess that was kind of what happened. Does that mean you like? Were you at all disappointed with your times or your time in the hundred from Rio? Uh, a little bit, honestly. Um, you know, I I'm never like completely satisfied with the swim, so uh, I, I kind of always felt like I'm mad after every race, but I'm really not. Uh, but I think for that situation that I was in, I did what I could, but uh, I don't think it was. So, you know, gold medal under the belt, you get the world record, and where do you go from there? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I've still been working on, uh, you know, after you get the gold medal, where do you go from there? Uh, at least motivation-wise, but uh, we'll see. I mean, obviously, I'd love to be under 104. Uh, I've been breaking the barriers for a person, and I'd love to do that one course, too. Cool.